Hello, welcome to another SoundSpot tutorial with me, Demis Helen. As you can see, we are looking at our multiband compressor axis, and where this has many uses, we're going to use this to shape our kick drum. The beauty of axis is we have the ability to control the placement of the mid and side detail using the imaging section. And coupled with a compressor and expander, this is the perfect tool to shape your kick. We'll start our focus with the imager portion and explore some compression options if needed nearer the end. I'm going to leave the band placements in their default settings and we're going to use the band isolation features here. First, let's take a listen to what we are working with. As you can see, the kick doesn't have much power and we're going to use Axis to add some of that power in and then add some character. Starting with band one, we need a solid low end. Here we don't want to mess around too much, but we do want to make sure this portion is fully mono and with axis, we can simply set the side spread to minus 100. Let's have a listen. So with the band isolated, we can hear that it is now centered and punchy. If we bypass this for a second, it loses a little bit of drive but it's now focused again. And we're just gonna increase the mid gain a little bit. Next, we're going to take a look at the low mids. So we're gonna select low mids and we're gonna isolate this band. We want to do something very similar to the low end and put it more into the mono portion, but not as much this time. And a little bit of a gain increase. I'm happy with that. And what we're doing here is creating a nice little mid-side crossover where it's not fully mono and things progressively get a bit more spread. Moving to band three, we're just going to increase the side spread just a smidge, and that is about it. And finally, moving on to band four, we're going to isolate this and increase the stereo spread just a little bit more than what we did on the upper mids. And I'm going to increase the side gain just a little bit. Dial it in and pull it back. With the imaging tweaked, I now want to draw attention to the kick in band three, as I'm hearing it needs a little bit more presence. And to accomplish this, we're going to demonstrate some expansion. So I'm going to start by isolating band three and selecting band three. In the compressor, I'm going to increase the threshold to minus six to minus seven. And then when we start using the expansion, you'll see it's starting to take effect here in the middle. And that's sufficient. Again, you can focus the bands here using the handles if you wanted to tailor it to your own mix. So we could narrow that a little bit and still get a nice tight upper mids punch. And that gets the desired sound we wanted for this kick drum. A focused and punchy low end with a crisp top, but not too hard hitting on the transients. And finally, adding that expansion gave the kick some character. And this brings us to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and leave us a comment on how you use Axis in your tracks. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.